Howdy folks, Trapping Fool back with you. <clears throat> now we're going to do some fish. I'm going to show you how to fillet fish real quick. <clears throat> First of all, you need a fillet knife. Fillet knife here works good. Now this is the way I do this. You can do just about anything. These have a little bit bigger bones. This one not so much, but this other, this brown trout that I'm going to do does. So I'm using a little bit heavier knife that cuts through the bones. Then I'll go to the fillet knife to take the skin off. On a trout and salmon here, there's two ways you can do it. First way is you can do it and leave the skin on for baking or whatever, or you can take the skin off. That's pretty much how it is with all fish. If you want to scale like bluegill and bass, you can scale them and then fillet them this way and uh, fry them that way too. But this is how I do it. Get in right behind here. I usually hold the gill, cut in the angle, roll the knife down, follow the rib cage. You'll feel that backbone in there and stay right along that. Leave a little bit at the end there. Flip it. This is where that fillet knife comes in handier, but I've been doing this a long time, so. And take it right off, just like so. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. I get my thumb under there. Angle. Get down along the backbone there. You'll feel it. And follow it right on down. Flip it over, get down against the skin, keep the knife flat. And there's actually a little bit of flex in the knife that I do. And of course, because of this, I just cut through it bad here, but it's all right. Sometimes it happens. Good sharp knife, just clean it right on off of there like so. Of course, I butcher this one. <laughs> it never fails. All right, we got that out of there then. The guts will leave there. I feed them to my chickens actually, so it doesn't go to waste. Trim that off there. I'll do this other one here so you can see it again. Lay it down there, cut in. Along that backbone, follow the backbone down. Leave a little bit at the end, flip it over. I'm actually going to switch here so I don't do it again. See the bend, the flex in my fillet knife here? I'm right along that height, the skin, and it takes it right off. Now we'll do the same thing again on the other side. Get under the gill, cut an angle behind the pectoral down to the backbone and follow it down flip it over I'm going to use a fillet knife again here get down along it of course this one's being a pain because I left a little bit there it's alright got it there we go now that we got that done now what I do is I take these fillets and if you look you can see where the rib cage is here I get the knife under there run it at an angle some people will fillet this all the way down like so because there is a little bit of meat there but I always do it this way. I just cut around them. Looks like I'm wasting a lot of meat. But in actuality, I'm not. Because what I do with these then, if I don't feed my chickens them, I reuse this in the summertime for catfish, for jugs and uh, limb lines. I freeze this and then I take it catfishing. So it's a real greasy, oily fish, and it leaves a good scent trail, and the catfish love it. So the scraps I'll give to the chickens. This will go in the freezer for uh, catfish, and this will go in the fridge and probably eat some of it tonight. So, all right, hope you got something out of this. We'll catch you next time. See you later.